Hey everyone, it's Charles from Frightmare HQ, here to talk about folk horror. Folk horror films are generally set in beautiful rural landscapes around communities located far away from the urban population. These flicks are likely going to involve some sort of pagan traditions or witchcraft, generally ending in a violent manifestation of their beliefs on some poor unsuspecting victim. Folk horror can actually be traced all the way back to 1922's Hexen, a Swedish silent film exploring the history of witchcraft, demonology, and Satanism. While folk horror appeared in some variations throughout the 50s and 60s, there were three films released between 1968 and 1973, nicknamed the Unholy Trinity, that are considered the granddaddy of folk horror. 1968's Witchfinder General, directed by Michael Reeves, tells the story of a 17th century witch hunter roaming the countryside, torturing women he deems to be witches. Be the first to see it, be the first to talk about it. The Witchfinder General. 1971's The Blood on Satan's Claw, directed by Pierce Haggard, about children in a 17th century village converting into a coven of devil worshippers. Come now, rise now from the forest, from the fuck. And the 1973 masterpiece, The Wicker Man, directed by Robin Hardy, which follows a police officer investigating disturbing rituals on a remote island. Is Rowan Morrison. Oh my god! Folk horror nearly disappeared after 1975, with only about 15 films being released in 25 years. Some notable ones during this time were Children of the Corn, Pumpkinhead, The Lair of the White Worm, Sleepy Hollow, and The Blair Witch Project. However, since 2010, there has been a huge resurgence in folk horror, with more than 25 films being released in the last decade alone. Samuel! With the popularity of these films, we will likely see more along the way. Well, now you know a little bit about folk horror, so get to watching some movies, and don't forget to like, comment, and share, or the boogans will get you.